few questions about how I seal my nail strips. So I'm going to show you guys in this video. Um, I am kind of bent over because I'm recording this in my bathroom. Try not to wake up Liam. And also my straighteners in here. I don't want to carry it in through the house somewhere and forget about it. So anyways, um, I've had a lot of questions about how I seal my nail strips. I had just done my nails tonight and I had two packs of nail strips that I need to seal. Um, keep in mind that Color Street does not recommend that you use these twice like this. Um, it is a one time use. You're supposed to um, just get rid of these, throw them in the trash or do something with them. But I like to get the most out of the money. so. I'm going to seal these babies up. So, what I do is I take my straightener and I put it on like 320, um, 400, something like that. And I make sure that um, it's good and hot and give it a few minutes to get warm. Also, you don't want to cut your packaging really close down to the um, where the nail strips are going to be because sometimes this will shrink. Whoa! Just drop my straightener. <laughs> Anyways, this will shrink the plastic if you get it too hot and then it's going to damage your nail strip. So we don't want that. So what I do is I cut it right along the seal and give myself as much space as I can just in case my straightener is too hot. So what I do is um, this is all between the lines. I use this with different sets. So um, I just put all of them in one package together and then this I put Swiss and Tail and Mount Crushmore in it together and that's because I just had a few of these left over and I can always use them as accent nails or something like that. So what you want to do is just take your straightener and go up here at the top and just press it together and make sure that it doesn't melt. I'm trying to make sure my child's not like and you want to make sure it seals. You can see that it's really crinkled up right there. And I also do the main end too. And sometimes I even pull it kind of tight to make sure that it does seal. Because sometimes I have sealed these and went back to use them. And they've had like a little hole or something in them. And um, they're dried out and I can't use them. And then I'm extremely sad because I have my mani. Um, thought out and things so there you go see it sealed really really good I want to do the second one here and um, sometimes I turn my straightener all the way up just because I don't have the patience to sit here and wait for it and because I'm in a hurry but it does melt the plastic like a whole lot I wish I had an example to show you guys but I, I didn't think to bring one with me um, but it does melt the plastic down a whole lot and it can damage your nail set so we don't want that but you want to make sure that you get it really good. And I might want to turn this up a little bit more. But I've not had any issues with these. Sometimes I have seen that people put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. Now, when I first started, I did put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the refrigerator. But they still ended up drying out after about a month or so. And then I had discovered this right here and this has worked wonders i actually used um, a set that i had used literally a year ago on my nails like three weeks ago so that shows you how good these it seals like this with your straightener but also um if you get them out of the pack and they're like really stiff and act like they don't want to pull off of the backing then that means that they're no good um, but I hope you guys um, get the drift here and save your nail strips because you want to get the most out of your money. And I want you to as well. And also these are good accent nails. Um, I use Between the Lines on everything. This is like my favorite set of all time out of everything. So um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you need help with orders or anything, let me know as well. Bye guys.